Um, again, just to build on a couple of the earlier comments, in particular what Bill was saying in terms of strategy, I think um, just by everything I've written since 2002, I've been able to very easily work in the phrase, the absence of an overarching strategy, um, which is a fairly consistent theme. Um, I've just recently finished a paper on police reform in Afghanistan, and that was also striking. I mean, it's one thing in 2002, 2003, 2004 to lack a strategy. It's quite striking in 2007 that we still have fundamental disagreement on what our vision and strategy is for a police force in Afghanistan. <coughs> With the American strategy largely being shaped by their engagement in the South and East being to build a sort of paramilitary counterinsurgency force, um, the Germans who led police reform effort were key partner previously and now the European police mission and the other European countries largely more committed to trying to build a civilian sort of rural law, law and order force. And then the third strategy is as best I can define it within the Ministry of Interior of maintaining the status quo. Um, so you have three very different strategies at work and visions in terms of a police force um, six years down the road into police reform efforts where we're now putting the U.S. is putting two and a half billion dollars alone into in this year. So I think uh, in terms of measuring progress, the absolute importance of having a clear sense of what the objective is. Um, a, third, a second point in terms of the security forces, Bill talked a bit about the ANA, and I think in terms of the police, um, I think the concern that progress is often measured and objectives are set in terms of quantitative indicators, in terms of police numbers, rather than qualitative. And there's been, I think, far too much emphasis on quantity versus quality in police reform efforts, largely, again, driven by the U.S., who have been trying